Well, howdy there, folks. Welcome back to Zomboid. So, <clears throat> did a couple of things while we were out and about. Specifically, we managed to level up our carpentry fairly well. Also, I leveled up nimble and uh, foraging a little bit. Although, the next level of foraging was really, really slow going, so I decided to stop. I was going to level it up further, but we don't have a foraging 2 book right now. Um, that is unfortunate. Do we even have a Carpentry 5 book? I don't remember. We do. I could read that right now. But we're not going to worry about that because we're not going to be doing Carpentry today. Hopefully. Anyway. Um, I also leveled up Mechanics a little bit, as you can see here. You're almost level 4. And I need that so I can, you know, do more maintenance. And hopefully we can fix up our Humvee at some point. But neither here nor there. So let me show you what I've done. All right. First of all, let's head on out here to the side panel. Here's our car. I parked in a different location and moved the other ones around a bit. We have our compost here. I've been composting everything. This building is now empty of all rotten food. Also, there were no potatoes I could save, unfortunately. Everything was stale or just completely rotten, so that's all I had. But as you can see, we have a, a rooftop here now. And if we come up here, we have a couple of rain collecting barrels. Perfect. I have some guardrails up here as well. And all that. I even made a little path here. A nice little path to make things look a little nicer. I mean, it's not as nice since there's junk on the ground, but whatever. Which means we now have basically uh, a decently infinite amount of water that we can use. And if we, uh, if we look here, after we fill this up, we have around 400 in that one. A little less than that one. Actually... Is the amount that's in these dictated by the amount that's in the thing up top? So it doesn't actually matter how many sinks I have down here? I thought it would fill the sink, and then it would have, like, the barrel up top as well. Well, whatever. Anyway, we'll just do this for now. We'll need a couple more sinks and some more crates down here, but that's whatever. In the backyard is, you know, whatever. So let's go out, and I'll show you how much uh, construction I had to do to level up. First of all, let's close this. Oh. I guess I can show you over here real quick. I did go through and I removed some of the bear, some of the crates that were uh, along the side here, all the way up to about here, as you can kind of see. I stopped because I uh, got tired of it and carrying so much of the produce around. So nothing really over here. I do have part of a wall built here, as you can see, because uh, I had cut down some of these trees here and whatnot. But the main thing that I did was this whole wall here I might notice a couple more cars. I'll get to that in a moment. All of this wall. And then over here, we did this little like thing here too. Then all of this wall over here. And we have some uh, crops that are ready to harvest. But if we harvest them, we won't get seeds back. So we're not going to harvest them quite yet. They're almost there. I also built a couple more uh, fertilizer things here. Filled them up with more of the rotten food that we have. Which is just so much, y'all. Just so, so much. Yeah, now we can uh, come up here, and I can kind of look over the fence. Because the plan is once we get this wall and the gate done, um, we can kind of come up here to see if it's safe before we open the gate. And we can go down back into our car, get in there, and do what we uh, do best. Drive away, you know. All that good jazz. I'm going to go ahead and close our doors here. For a moment. So anyway, the cars. Um, you might notice these red two cars. They're the ones that were up the road a little bit. Just over uh, over here, wherever they were. I think they were right around here. Um, I went up and towed them back. Um, and then the other one, this uh, total sedan or station wagon, whatever, it was basically just right here. I was foraging around, just walking around this area. That's why there's more of the map shown. But uh, it was a really rainy night. I was like, I want to get some stones to get some more axes to cut down more trees. So I was just kind of going up and down here, and I, I ran into it. And I was like, well, I might as well bring that back so I can start doing some work to it. Um, anyway, you might notice that the uh, if we look at the truck here, the hood is gone. The right on the front is gone. Pretty much everything is, is fucked about this car. I did realize that I cannot remove, like seats and i can't remove the uh, suspension and brakes because i need to have um oh i guess i could do this one but i would need intermediate mechanics but 
If I did that, it would you know, reduce the quality of it if I failed, which given that they're like 90%, I don't want to do that. The rear brakes are kind of bad though, huh? I did replace the broken headlights with ones from, I think, these cars or something. Uh, so that's a little bit better. But uh, yeah, we removed the hood, the bull bar, uh, because they were at 0% anyway, and then I couldn't put them back on. So yeah, they're currently chilling if we go back inside here. They're currently chilling in this rack here. We have the uh, broken hood, which we could repair it if we have some metal sheets, but we need to get our metalworking higher as well is unfortunate but then we also have in the other one here we have the bull bar which also requires us to have a uh, metal working up there so we need to work on getting a welding mask because i don't think we have one. Oh, also i did get a little bit of food here caterpillar and some unknown mushrooms from uh foraging so those are in the fridge right now being frozen so if we look over here yeah i don't think we have a welding mask we can check just to make sure. Yeah, we do not. So that's unfortunate. Um, we also don't have a sledgehammer, which we need. So we're going to have to uh, find that. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go and try to recover our fuel tank here. And then also gonna grab some bandages. Let's grab three including the sterilized ones, so that's good there. We'll put those into my thing here. Um, I don't think I need anything else from this right now. We are really depressed, which is not great for us, but I can't really do much about that at the moment. Uh, we do need to grab some food, and as you can see, I've, I went through a lot of food, y'all. Like, a lot. Uh, just building the fence and whatnot, because it was taking a lot of... It took a while. You can probably tell by the date change here. We are gaining more weight now. We're actually at a healthy weight, but if we get to around 77, I think we'll be happy and we can worry about that less. But let's uh, let's sleep real quick. Hopefully make that drop down a little bit so my action speeds are a little bit faster. Oh, I didn't do much. But anyway, I don't remember if I saved into the journal. I probably didn't do everything. Didn't. All right. Oh, the garden saw. We need to get rid of that because we don't need to carry it around anymore. That would just hinder us. So let's get rid of that. All right, so we have our cigarettes, we have lighter, we have some food, and other stuff like that. Perfect. So, also I noticed I made some progress in fitness and strength. That's because I have been exercising while also doing other stuff. You see the regularity went up quite a bit there. All right, let's hop into the vehicle here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the chips just into the glove box here. That way they'll always be there for me, ready to go. Um, yeah. That's pretty much everything that I've done here. I think. Oh, I did also add a couple of other mods. If we, well, I, I open them up, but it doesn't matter. But I've added some more mods for us. Uh, things that don't really matter too much. Like some optimization things that change the grass and other textures a bit. Which I don't even notice, so I think they're working all right for me. But uh, we should hopefully help performance if we get into like a horde situation and whatnot. Uh, we also installed a refillable lighter mod. So this lighter that I have, once it runs out, it should become an empty lighter that I can then refuel uh, with gasoline. At least that's the hope. Then I also installed a zombies actually drop cigarettes mod. So if there's sometimes a zombie around this we'll see if he drops cigarettes i don't know it'll be like a random chance i don't think we ever found cigarettes on zombies but we can check no like i said sometimes it happens i think uh and the last mod that i installed is that the zombies will not lose their hats and their glasses or masks when i'm attacking them and that one is just there specifically because i do not want to have extra stuff on the ground that I don't need to have on the ground because that's just going to impact performance. So if I'm, you know, killing zombies and they're losing hats and glasses, that's just adding to the items that are on the ground, right? We might stop by as we're going down here the uh, 
little farm station that was right there on the corner. We are hungry. We'll see if there's anything edible in there. Probably not. It's all probably rotten, but there might be seeds or something else. But remember, today our goal is to at least get the fuel tanker back home. And then after we do that, we're on the lookout for a generator. Ideally, two generators. We want to get one for home and then one for a nearby gas station so we can continue to fuel our stuff uh, in the event that we need to you know, go to a gas station to refuel. Because if we do get that big tanker truck, um, we'll definitely need it to fill up. Um, we'll need a gas station to fill it up completely, right? There we go. Drop that. I'll take these canned peaches. Always good to have, you know, canned goods lying around. Um, more canned goods. So they weren't selling fresh produce here, or maybe they were selling fresh and canned produce. I don't know. By the way, another garbage bag for the collection. We can make, I think, one more uh, rain collector with that now. So, yeah, see, the potatoes are still stale. I feel like if we would have came home with the fridges and stuff, like, maybe even a day or two sooner, we would have been able to actually get the... Uh, potatoes in a fresh state we could have thrown them in the fridge and basically prevented their uh, disappearance for a long time anyway let's head up this road and just see what's up here be good idea to uncover the map see what's around you know I'm assuming it's gonna be some sort of farmhouse or something like that it never hurts to have a peek, you know? The fenced in area up here. Is this just more storage sheds? I can check it out. Probably just a bunch of produce, which care too much about, but try to open the window first before smashing it, please. Yeah, potatoes stale, potatoes stale. What do we have in here? More seeds, I'll take them. I'll also take the shovel. I don't think I have one. I can use that to uh, dig graves and stuff. And then with that one mod that lets me put like traps in the uh, in the graves, we can use that to uh, line the wall that we're making in, uh, in graves that are punji sticks, so it'll kill any zombies that get near it. Oh, nice! That was a twofer. All right, uh, remove broken glass first, then we can climb through it. Any more zombies in here? There's one back. Let's go say hi to him. Oh, incidentally, I am injured. You might notice, and you might be like, how did that happen? Well, in one of my schizo episodes, I uh, was unfortunate enough to stumble back while standing, fall on the ground, and scrape my right forearm. Yeah, that's how it happened. It's not the best thing ever. You know, it's not like I was, oh, a zombie wandered into the area and stuff like that. No, it was literally, I just, I just got an ouchie from falling over. That's all. <laughs> That's all it is. Uh... I'll check these guys for cigarettes. Nothing. How dare they? She started up. All right, we're gonna head north around here until we find the next point of interest. Um, now whether or not it's gonna be useful or not, who knows? But 
Let's see. And then if we don't find anything for a little while, let's go at least until 1600. If we haven't found anything by 1600, we will uh, turn around and just go get the gas tank. Wow, time really moves slow when you're, uh... Just, ooh! Yeah? No, shut up, that's just my schizophrenia. Okay. Little pipe. Ooh, a propane tank? Come on. Come on, please tell me they have a welding mask somewhere around here. Planks? Nah. Don't need those. I will go ahead and throw stuff into this trailer because we'll just tow it back to home. We'll tow this one back home and it'll be like a spare trailer we can use for searching stuff with light vehicles. And then uh, if we need to, you know, and then we'll uh, dump it off at home, dump off the loot we have and go get the fuel trailer. Let's check the door. Hey, cigarettes. Nice. I'm not sure how the blood spatter got inside there, but... Okay. Okay, that room's clear. That room's clear. Yeah, that room's clear. Alright, we're looking good. So let's go ahead and grab some more stuff here. How's that cabbage rotten inside? It must have been in the fridge for a while. I guess stuff does go just rotten in the fridge, but uh, we will be taking this fridge with us, throwing it out there. Look at this open bowl. Kitchen knife and stuff, because I think I need them to cook certain things with. Might as well take those to paste stuff with us, too. Um, what we got down here? Cereal, dried split peas, that stuff. I might as well take all of it. Why not? Alright, so if we go to pick up... I don't have enough electrical for that, but let's go ahead and pick up the fridge. Alright, and then run down here real quick. The more fridges we have, the more we can, you know, safely secure uh, for a while. I don't think we want too many, or else the generator will just be overwhelmed, and we'll only have, like, a day worth of, you know, sustenance, or power. Not sustenance. Not sustenance. Yeah. We'll also try to grab the kitchen sink. Oh, I don't have a pipe wrench. Right. Oh, that's my bad, but whatever. Not a big deal. Go ahead and uh, fill up and drink our uh, stuff here. How am I doing in terms of dirt on my stuff? I'm doing good. Right, bookshelf, what do you have for me? Farming and tailoring three? I'm not sure I have tailoring three. Let's grab that. Also, let's go ahead and read this uh, comic book to help my mood improve. There we go. I will just assemble this uh, TV. Anything else that's like electric I could do too. Um, I need there. Alarm clock and a magazine. Go ahead and disassemble that. Again, if I find any lamps, I think I want to grab those too. But I might not find any. Oh, there's one. Perfect. <laughs> I could disassemble this, but I think I just want to take it. So, pick up. Clamp. There we go. We can put that down inside the, uh, either our little area where we, you know, are sleeping, or we can put it in the storage room somewhere on a 
container and that'll let us have some light in there for once rather than having to rely on you know the darkness the night all that i don't mind to turn around weird well might as well store all this extra stuff we found in here as well that we disassembled oh, doesn't hurt all right so the next area is to search our up north here let's go ahead and get the car attach the trailer Make sure we're at a good angle with it. Okay. This will be a good test to see how fast we can pull this. We're going to come up here with this. We're just like right outside of it, and then I can go back to the smaller one on foot because it's going to have smaller stuff in it, I, I, I think anyway. It's on tire pump. Don't need those. Regular tire sport. Might as well take it. Heading back to home anyway, so rig, screwdriver, wrench. Take a couple of extra wrenches. Fertilizer. Sure, why not? Couple more seeds. Excellent. Oh, hold on. Gravel bags. We already have a trowel. I'm not sure if they take durability damage though, so we'll grab that. So we need a welding mask though. Alright. Let's check out the building back here then. I think it's just like a little shed thing or maybe like some sort of guest house or something. Oh, there's a zombie in there. Let's lure them out. I'm scared from that. A golden wristwatch. Ooh. She was just wearing negligee in, in here, huh? Ooh, this looks promising. I think I'll grab a couple extra hammers. This one is at half health. I don't know if... I don't think it takes stuff. I don't think it takes durability when I, like, build with it, but, uh, it would be nice to just be safe and sorry. Also, they can just be used as chain, huh? They can just be used for, um, you know, melee if I need to, like if I'm running low on weapons or something. Damn, I was hoping there'd be guns in that locker, because that's usually what's in there, right? Well, we found some stuff. Uh, a chain, which I've never seen before. I'm not sure what that's for. It was for uh, Ars Common Library. Yeah, I don't know what that would be. Alright, let's go ahead and just dump what we have in here, though. More wood glue is always nice as well, because we can use that to uh, pick stuff up. Okay. Hop in the car. Check the map. So, just these four buildings right here is all there was, huh? Okay, well, it's fine. Let's, uh, let's just head back home. Was that my schizophrenia or was that an actual zombie? Doesn't matter really either way, because we're going home anyway. Okay. We're doing alright. We're still picking up speed. Going a little slow, but that's fine. I, I, I had to hit the e-brake there. I thought I was going to crash for a second. 
We are using a lot of fuel in this thing, though. We do need to get that fuel tanker back. Oop, 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 don't swerve all over. Come on, man. Be careful. Oh, my God. Yeah, suddenly Sunday driver not looking so bad, huh? Let's put a cap of 55 on our speed here. Damn. Whew. Yes, we're doing okay with terms of uh son of a Sometimes those just like fall over. But I guess that one decided it wanted to my car a bit, huh? How dare it. Hmm. I think when we get back home, we will take everything out of this trunk and the uh, storage thing here. Also, I could pull that, uh, ambulance back here, too, and have that for mechanical skill and all that, too. But... It's such a long distance, and I burn so much fuel hauling stuff. This car is not meant to haul. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll go home, unload stuff, and by that time, hopefully, it'll be a little bit later at night. And we can sleep. following my code of if a zombie is alone, we'll kill it. Because that way we will uh, have less zombies to deal with. You know? And here's our exit. You know what? Go deal with these rubberneckers. Hefty damage just swinging the bat now, too. Really nice. Okay, now, those guys won't be tempted to run in front of my vehicle when I'm driving back and forth through here now. And they're less likely to draw another horde or other people from around the area, other zombies wandering here. The one thing that's nice about this place that we've uh, decided to build in is that uh, it is in nature, so there's plenty of trees and stuff for us. Like, I think if we chop down all these trees, we would be set for life in terms of wood, right? It's so far away and be hard to transport them, but they'd be there. So anyway, home sweet home. Alright. So, let's go ahead and take everything out of the trunk. Alright, so we had food, mainly canned goods specifically, which actually we are getting <clears throat> full-on storage. Shut up. I know you're not real. We're gonna have to store the rest of them in here. I'm not turning around. You can't make me. Uh, then we have... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we have a garbage bag, garbage bag here. Seed packets. Can I reach the thing, or I'm gonna have to move over? Let me just 
I'm just gonna not turn my back towards him because if I do, I'm gonna like freak out and drop my baseball bat. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to do that. Those go in there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put the baseball bat on my back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got our seed packets, which can go down here. Boop, 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 boop. Really, I, I really need to get a fanny pack so I can put the stuff that I want to keep in it so I can just like grab everything out of the backpack and dump it in there, you know? All right. Now we're going to grab everything in here. Pretty much everything but the... Uh, fridge is going to fit, so that's good. We'll grab the rest of this stuff and we'll just put the tire into the uh, thing here real quick, like. Go. Alright. Let's see here. That stuff over there. Electrical wire. Light bulb. Scrap electronics. <laughs> Wire, wood glue. Next we have the metal stuff. Well, you know what? Oh, I have to unpack that first. Put in my main inventory. Go. Uh, that's all the metal, I think. So let's go switch to. Oh, well, not the canned goods one. We have to go to this one. Cereal crackers, dried stuff, a bowl. Kitchen knife goes in here. Pepper in the plate. Tomato paste. Over to our lovely toolbox. Oh, the gas can too. I forgot about that one. Anyway, the uh, the red light. I think we just put it like right here. Turn it on. We have a little bit of light in here now. Yay! Perfect. Now if I get a couple more of them, I can like put them on boxes around here. Good. All right. Let's see what else we got. I don't know what the chain is for, so we'll throw it in here. Um, propane tank is going to be in the metalworking box. What else do I have? Seeds, farm stuff, a book about tailoring, which is one that I do not have. Excellent. Good find. Set over to the seed area. Toss all that in there. Excellent. Alright. Now for the last thing. The fridge. What does make portable freezer mean? I, I mess up by doing that. It can be installing vehicles and trailers. Yeah? Well, I just messed that up, didn't I? I can't even place it like normally then. Well, I guess this goes into this then. Ah, that was such a waste. All right. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, it's time to eat. Let's have let's open up canned beef. Also, let's grab a let's grab some sardines too while we're at it. We're gonna eat half of it, and then 
I think we can take some extra size. It's fine. Because we're just going to be going around driving and getting our trailer. We won't be fighting too much. And yeah, we'll smoke after we sleep. Sleep. And it should hopefully take us until at least 4 or 5 a.m. Why do I have neck pain? Kind of a bitch. Well, whatever. All right. All right. So now the trailer should be empty, which means we can uh, move it around a bit. Or we can also eat the rest of our uh, open beef. I wonder if tin cans can be used for anything. Uh, I want to save it if it can be, though. We didn't use them last time, but I mean, I think we could use them for like improvised grenades, maybe? I don't even know if that's possible. Anyway, hop in the car, open up the glove box, throw our canned sardines in there. I'm also going to pack uh, these cigarettes as well. They're a little bit lighter. Put them in there. All right, let's start this up and move the uh, trailer somewhere better. Don't jackknife it, come on. It's such a pain to back this up, like, in a straight line. I'm just, I'm bad with trailers. Okay, that's good enough. Here we go. Alright, car time. Let's go grab that fuel tanker. Well, not the tanker, but the little small tank that we had to abandon because bad shit happened. We should have enough fuel to get there. I would hope. Unless this thing uses way too much gas, in which case we probably need to get rid of it. But, uh... Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, we will head back there. I'm just open up the map and take a look here. All the way over here. Are we drifting in the road at all, or are we right in the center? Now we're drifting. I wish there was like a uh, auto drive feature that would like center you on the road and drive you. That way I could like look at the map and just watch our progress because great right? but yeah we'll uh I think as we're going down here let's clear up any zombies that are around I'm gonna just speed up because I know the road's clear other than zombies which if we do spot some zombies we'll just slam the brakes immediately oh my god we're going 120 gotta like tap the W and Holy shit! Well, that fucked up my windshield. Hey, buddy, you good? Ah, oh, man, I think I killed this guy. Holy shit. Hey. Your friend ruined my freaking car, huh? How the are you guys doing standing in the middle of the road? Is that our turn, actually? I think that might be our turn. No, it's not. I yelled to try and draw their attention, but I guess there's none around. That sucked. 
One less windshield. This is exactly what happened to the Hummer, too. We lost the windshield first. Then we lost the front end. Then we just lost the engine. It was bad, man. You know what, maybe, uh, let's put the baseball bat away. I'll use my hands and feet. Um, if there's just a couple, but if there's, like, multiple, I'll, I'll grab it then. Alright, it's so the next turn we want to go down. That was a little bit too close, I think. Yeah, I can just stomp his brains in. there for a second. Pop him in the head. Pop him in the head. What the fuck are you doing? Are you kidding me, my guy? Baseball bat time. Are you fucking... That's just so mean. I can't believe they would do that. Put a fake zombie in there? Finally, we found a bulletproof vest, though. But it was in the bag. Hmm? Nothing. Just a little bloody. Real quick. I'll just yell. Is anyone going to come out of the woods? Nope, don't see anyone. They might notice me though. Okay. The baseball bat is ready. Hey, fitness leveled up. Oh, yeah. Really? Probably need more of those schizo meds. There's no helicopter from the guy. Calm down.
more Sugis. Any more zombies on the road ahead? Not for a little while, at least. Back of the car we go. It's just burning fuel, just sitting there. Let's go ahead and open up a can of sardines. Can't do that while driving. Oh, hey, oh my god, dude, are you okay? Sorry. Didn't see you there. I was, uh, in my glove box. Doing stuff. Don't worry what stuff. Open door. smoke. Hey buddy, you appear to be all on your lonesome now. Want a hug? I'm gonna boot to the face! Oh. Hey there, lady. I'm sorry, but I have boundaries. Thank you for understanding. Are we ever gonna reach this thing? I don't know. We left it at, like, what, 5 o'clock and... It's already been like four hours and we're just barely down the road. But you know what? I think it's a small price to pay. I wish we could, I wish we could punch and not just shove when we're unarmed. Maybe we have some like brass knuckles or something, that'd be good. Come here, you two. Let me kill you before I go kill that guy. I don't know why, I just... I meant to hit C. Something? Yeah, there we go. Got him. Now you miss. I hate when they hide in the trees. It's so annoying. Alright, let's take care of this guy. Okay, bud. How far have we gone? You gotta be, like, close. Yeah, this, this last part of the road has just been awful. Stomp him! Oh my god, the, the hit system. Please. 
Please. car off catch some z's here to get ourselves less sleepy and stuff especially if we're going to be pushing people like this i should have just brought another dang baseball bat <sighs> well, here comes the exercise pain saw me. No, we didn't. Never mind. Walk away. Hmm. I think he saw me, though. Ah, come on. Turn too soon. Nice if one of them had like a baseball bat or a weapon on them. There we go, got a couple. Oh, look at that. Nimble's maxed out. Love to see it. Come on, what? Keep whipping these hits, man. I was considering whether or not I should hit him again or not. Hunting knife, I'll take that. Ah, two of them came. I think I can take two. Let's go. go. Nice. We got some cologne, too. Excellent. Where's the last one at? Come here, you. I say last, but another one looks to be right there. And two more, at least. What? Unbelievable. It's the same exact place, too. Oh no, the far arm was to where it was at. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> Um, how about we stop killing every zombie we see and just go get a tanker? Especially since our baseball bat's gonna get broken here in a moment, and uh, I don't wanna deal with this. Yep, we don't have enough stuff for that.
should be real close by, though. It's actually right in this field, isn't it? No? Look at that. It's not past here, is it? What? I guess it is. Get going, then. Oh, that goes, isn't it? There's a bunch of zombies around me, huh? Let's lure them a bit further north, and then I'll swoop around, attach it, and try to lure them out of the way. This is a really big field, isn't it? As long as I can get out of the car and leave it there, I can move the swarm. Alright. Go. Oh my god, they're literally just coming from everywhere, aren't they? I'm hungry too. Oh, he almost had me. Why are there so many zombies right in this specific location? They just keep coming out of the freaking right side. I may have messed up, guys. This is not good. This is very not good. Let's lure them south. Yeah. Why are there so many zombies here? All I need to do is attach the trailer to the car and then have enough time to start the car and get out, which I do not have with this many zombies. And if I run too much, I'm not going to be able to lure them properly here. Maybe one of those scenarios where we're going to have to abandon the car just because we cannot uh, get back to it. Oh my god. The game just starts lagging once I look back that far. Try and zigzag a little bit here, kind of get them clustered up further and closer together. I'm gonna have a smoke. Oh, you can see some of my previous victims. I'm just gonna put this baseball bat away because if I get like scared, I don't want to drop it. And then my schizo episode or something, you know.
Speaking of schizo episodes, maybe I go down to that path we cut through the trees. I can run through that, but because the horde is so wide, they won't uh, be able to make it through that small area, so some of them get stuck on the trees. Hey, hey, hoo 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 hoo! Hey, boo buddy! Is it right here? it was. Oh my god, there's so many. It was not here. No. Further down. I wish I could look at the map while I was walking, but uh, by doing that's just like a death sentence. Wait. We are so far away from our car now, guys. <laughs> This is bad. Even if we make it back, we're still probably gonna have to, like, fight some zombies around it, because some probably broke off right away and started to go back, like, towards their stupid frickin' horde boss or whatever. Fine. We just won't use this road down here anymore. I've got to be getting close to it, right? Pause. I think it's, I think it's further down here. Shit. I mean, I think we are far enough away where I could just run off into one of the directions somewhere and uh, leave them. Which one I'm gonna do? Uh, screw it. We're gonna get exhausted and stuff before too long, so let's start uh, crouching down here. Take a smoke. Then we're gonna run over here. I think the gas station's actually nearby here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's stop at the gas station. We can pick up some food and stuff there. The gas station should be clear, and I think the zombies will have lost me going through the forest like that. Because technically I went through sort of one and a half forests. I just need to rest, so... Anyone following me, which is great. Okay. What do we got? Each to our heart's content, I guess. Now let's take what we can. More chips? Perfect. We were running low on our, our junk food stash, which is good, but also bad. water bottles, I'll take them. Why do I still hear music? Is it cutting out? I think it's starting to go away. Let's see. Give me that. Give me that. Give me the magazines. Already read that one. That, so we don't need that one. Please. Oop. Okay. I think we managed to get away. Oh. So, cool. Um, we already have mechanics two since we're now we have mechanics one already. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna grab the uh, garbage bags from these dumpsters here. Perfect. Alright, well, I was actually expecting to do a lot more today, but because we started to uh, 
explore that the place to the north of the road. We ended up not really doing a whole lot, did we? Um, I think, is, is it down here where those cop cars are at? I think it might be. I'm going to take a look at those before we wrap up, and then we'll wrap this video up. Exhausted again. That's fine. I wish when you leveled up sneaking, it like made you faster while sneaking. Anyway, am I correct? Cop cars down here. Up here. Where would I have normally come down from my, uh, the previous I was building here, so it would be one of these roads, right? I don't remember. Maybe they're not here now, though? Stupid freaking gunshots. Ugh. I don't see him down that way. We would not have gone this far. Excuse me? Yeah, we wouldn't have gone this far if we uh, were driving to the gas station from our home. Was it on one of the other, one of the upper streets here then? Where are we at again on the map? Is there any like place I can rest? I guess there. Sleep for the night. up that way. Ooh, I see a car key there, though. And one here. Ooh. Nice. I'm assuming I can... Open up both of these. More twine and empty bottles. Nice. What do you think? Third time's the charm? Ah, I don't see a key. Well, and I'll get what you need, right? key is this too. I'm not sure if that's the same one as this or not, but it is. Okay. Well, there's a couple of cars here at least. I don't see any more. Maybe the police cars blocking the road was just a uh, Maybe it's a not specific set spawn thing. Maybe they can just randomly block in any road or something, perhaps. Okay. Let's head into the uh, black rifle here. Or the rusty rifle, whatever it's called. Hopefully we can score some bourbon and stuff here as well to make Molotovs. Then we can kill a bunch of zombies at once. Also get a bunch of garbage bags by the looks of it. Okay. 
Anything in these? No. Fine. How about here? Might as well load up. I think only bourbon can be turned into Molotovs, but might as well take everything else while we're at it, right? Never know when you're gonna run low on something. Ooh, two bourbon, there we go. Although, if I do start a fire, it could potentially spread through the woods. That would destroy a lot of lumber. Hmm. I wonder if I can use the empty beer bottles to fill up with gasoline and make Molotovs, you know? Ah, no more room in there? Okay, fine. <clears throat> Anything in the fridge? There is. Hey, back away. That was close. I thought I was just my schizophrenia, but nope. Actual zombie. I'm safe, right? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, well, um... Let's get upstairs. Let's get my baseball bat out, too, while we're at it. Get the whole hallway here first. Looks good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sleeping here for tonight. And then clear the rest of the rifle. Place first. I don't know why my anxiety goes up when I'm sleeping. That's weird. I turn this light on, please. I cannot see anything. Find just another room. base, I guess. Not necessarily a base, but at least a place to sleep in for now. <sighs> Alright. Look at the map. There are some cars. We can grab those and use them to, to move around town. Um, I think our best option would be to kind of cut through here and just kind of beeline for the tank as much as possible we can. But uh, yeah, we definitely don't want to go around here because we dropped off a huge horde around this area. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens, but uh, yeah, I think if we go through here, try to go through here, we're probably going to meet more zombies on the road, which is going to be bad, but you know, how it goes. But we'll wrap things up here for today, everyone, so until next time, bye-bye.